Um, well, well, we developed the series over two years. <laughs> And then we shot the episode in January. We, we shot, we started filming the episodes and then went into editing. So it took us probably about six, seven months to episode to edit all the episodes, but they kind of were all being edited kind of, you know, two at a time. And then we'd come back to one and move to the other. So I would say if we, to isolate one, maybe two or three months, I mean, we had to take the time um, to really massage them out to make sure we're, uh, you know, telling the right parts of history and then having the right archival material. There was hours and hours of archival material to go through and to source and to find. And then we find something and then, you know, we might find something new and then we want to replace it. And so, and then or we get something that, you know, we can't find the source or we can't clear and then so it has to be replaced. So there was a lot of back and forth um, and it's a lot of refinement um, and it takes time to work with archival material and then also the fact checking of the historical aspect of it because we're telling history, it's real, it's true and we want to be accurate. Uh, so there's that aspect too. So definitely I would say it would take at least two to three months full time um, per episode. I think the most surprising part of the series was just the amount of work it takes to use archival material, organize arch archival material, find the sources of the archival material and clear it. That was a beast. I mean, if you watch the show, you can see how fast we sometimes use a, a, a video or a photo for like less than a second, maybe 10 frames. And so, you know, add that up. We had, you know, some episodes, our EDL, our edit, edit decision list, which is a list of everything that's used in the episode. Um, we'll have over 600, 800 items listed. So imagine having to go through 600 items, identify every single one, identify every single source. Um, so that part was was a beast. So we had to have definitely a really strong um, clearance team and research team to kind of work through all of that. Some of our teamwork is Chase Producers, Fona Sudu and Fola, and a few other team members who really reached out to community members. I mean, the good thing is, um, Allison and I have both been working in community, making a lot of community-based projects over the past 20 years. So a lot of the times, people were people we were already familiar with, um, who we might have worked with in the past, or might have supported in the past through their projects, or they might have supported us. So um, it was a community effort. I think that kind of circle was our reference point, because a lot of these people were in the materials and we wanted the approach uh, for who we wanted to interview and feature was those who either lived these moments that we were mentioning or had archived it, filmed it, um, and had some kind of connection to it. So it was really community. And so it was either reaching into our Rolodexes or our, our team, you know, just doing a search and finding the people and then just reaching out to them and asking. Um, I think the difficult part was just people's availability if they could be available for a studio day. So there's many other people we wanted to feature in the series, but just the scheduling just didn't um, work out, uh, but that, that was the process.